Hi guys, so this time we are not doing the uh, headlight test. Uh, I'm driving with with the Mustang Mach-E. This is the real wheel drive standard range. And today we are going to do a bit of a range test in in a bit of a cold, colder situation. It's not that cold today, it's only minus one degree Celsius. But I just thought it would be interesting to see how this smaller smaller battery version with the real wheel drive will perform. So um, our loop is about 130 kilometers and uh, at the moment we are driving about 100 kilometers per hour uh, in just a few kilometers uh, the speed is going to reduce to 80 and then and at the end of the route there will be some highway speeds up to 110 kilometers per hour so uh, I did preheat the car about half an hour I checked the I have the OBD scanner in the car the bat battery pack temperature was um, zero degrees Celsius and in that half an hour 35 minutes the temperature rose to like six degrees Celsius uh, so it's currently a I cannot see the stats at the moment, but I think it's like 7 or 8 degrees Celsius, the battery pack. Uh, at the moment I have 84% uh, state of charge in the battery pack, and the range is estimating 228 kilometers. Uh, my consumption at the moment is 22 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, so not too bad. Uh, I also did pre-start the car like 10 minutes before we left, so the cabin was a bit warm already, so the car doesn't have to uh, warm, up, warm up the cabin as we drive, and therefore it uses less energy to heat up the car. Of course, when the battery is preheating, it's the, it's the same uh, heating and cooling mechanism as with that uh, heats up the cabin also, so of course when the battery was uh, preheating then the cabin will preheat or, or heat also faster because the liquid that runs both the cabin and the battery was all already a bit warmer so a bit of a status update i just checked the temperatures of the battery and the inlet cooling yeah. temperature of the battery <laughs> it seems that in this conditions when I'm driving only at these moderate speeds the battery itself it's actually cooling down the battery pack temperature when we left and it had been preheated and preheating it was like seven uh, degrees Celsius and now it's dropped to five degrees Celsius so as you can as you know uh, in Mustang Mach-E there is no uh, battery preheating option when uh, navigating to a high-speed charger so this doesn't look very promising uh, getting high speeds at the at the high-speed charger because our battery is so cold the battery temperature should be at least be above 15 degrees Celsius uh, in order to reach uh, instantly uh, accept acceptable numbers of course the battery pack is uh, heating up when the high-speed charging is starting, but it, it ramps up so, so slowly uh, that your charging session it's gonna be much longer than if you had the option to preheat the battery before navigating to a high-speed charger. The starting uh, starting starting uh, power of the charger would be much higher okay we have dri been driven driving now for almost 50 minutes uh, the average speed has been quite low there were
were some 60 km per hour uh, roads when we came here. Uh, the consumption has stayed, it's now settling to like to, to a 19 watt hours per 100 km. So it's it's quite good. Uh, the temperature inside the car has been staying in 20 degrees Celsius, so nice and warm here. Mm, our state of star charge at the moment, moment is 72% and the range is 195 kilometers. So uh, not much has changed. Uh, what I'm noticing is uh, the battery temperature is uh, it's, uh, it's getting colder all the time and that's of course because we are not using that much en that much energy and it's not producing heat so that's quite logical but of course it's, of course it's it's no good when we hit the high speed charger uh, of course one thing to note that when we get to the high speed charger in like what would I say? 60 kilometers. The state of charge is so high uh, that we probably are not going to see very fast charging speeds. But I'm just gonna see what it is. I'm curious to know. In two kilometers, turn left. And uh, yeah, not much changed. I'll check in you with you again when when uh, we get to the high speed part for example okay so a little status update once again uh, we are now on the high speed uh, motorway section i'm now driving a bit of 100 a bit over 100 kilometers per hour so uh, not speeding in any way uh, we had to stop just before we hit the uh, highway, my uh, this trip meter, when showing in the Mach E, did reset. But uh, no, I thought it would be useful for you just to see the consumption in in the highway highway driving. So uh, now I've been driving the highway uh, a bit, like nine kilometers. The temperature outside is minus one degree Celsius just before, just uh, as earlier. Uh, inside it's 20 degrees Celsius, nice and warm. Uh, and the consumption is 26 uh, watt hours per 100 kilometers. Uh, we are currently at uh, 61 state of charge, and I, it's not, there is no it doesn't make sense to try the high-speed charger that is coming right now, but I'm just gonna test it where where it goes in this kind of environment. A 61 state of charge and cold battery. I'm not expecting it to be very good, but we shall see. And I'm also curious how fast the temperature in the battery pack uh, uh, rises when we, we plug the charger. Uh, okay, we are at the charger now. Uh, not getting very good speeds, but it's actually what I pretty much was expecting. Uh, the OBD reader shows about 39 kilowatt hours uh, or kilowatts. And one thing that I can see uh, when I'm using the car scanner app is the inlet temperature of the battery pack. So that is the I think that's the liquid that is going to the battery cells and trying to heat up the battery. It, uh, what I've understood is it's the same loop that can be opened as uh, with the, uh, the thermal loop that heats up the cabin also. And uh, that temperature rise very quickly. And I think it's because it's the same loop that's already warm and has been heating the cabin. 
and now the car just lets that warm liquid go into the battery bag also and that shows that it's it was like it it when i drove here it showed that it's almost zero degrees and now it's over 30 degrees it opened a valve there or something and let the warm liquid to the battery pack and now the battery pack is starting to warm because the warm liquid is also circulating in the battery pack also uh, yeah i just shut off the camera to see the uh, obd stats so the leak liquid going into the battery pack was now 35 degrees celsius so quite warm and the battery pack was now 10 degrees celsius when it was like four or five when we got to the charger the charging speed was still 37 <laughs> kilowatt hours but of course when the state of charge rises it doesn't get any any faster than that of, of course it, it slows down of course yeah uh, i don't think we'll be charging that much this is was just a test to see how the battery pack temperature was would rise when we connect to a charger and what would be the charging speed in this kind of state of charge uh, so we just stopped charging uh, we charged to 80 percent and the reason we didn't go any fur further is because of the super slow speeds after 80 percent with the mach e i've heard that many people have had the update called i think it's 22p21 or something like that which which should increase the charging speed uh sorry about the meh noises which should increase the charging speeds after 80 percent uh in our case this wasn't the case we charged to 35 uh, up to 80 percent the speed was like 40 to 35 kilowatt hours and then it dropped to seven or six kilowatt hours after it hit 80 percent uh, i talked to the service guy about this update and he said that there weren't any updates available for my car so it seems that this model which is this is the job 2 model which is like the second production round and this is the smaller battery pack with rear wheel drive it's not at least here in finland it isn't getting the update about the charging speed after 80 at least at this point i hope it will update to this model also because the <laughs> charging speed it was like seven or eight kilowatt hours like ki kilowatts and it's it's terrible <laughs> and i i so i hope that this uh, that update is still still coming to my car as well but now it's proved that this model doesn't have the update and the charging speed just just surges after it hits 80 percent so once again a little status update It's quite clear to see now how the uh, li thermal liquid cooling on uh, the loops go in the car. Now when I'm just driving, uh, the inlet temperature of the car, of the battery pack, is heavily, heavily uh, dropping in in temperature. It's not, not It was like. 37 degrees celsius when we charge now when we uh, continue dri driving it's like 10 degrees celsius and when the coolant is so cold of course the battery packs temperature is going to uh, get colder also and when the battery packs is colder it affects the range for example so it, in these conditions it cannot keep the battery in a temperature that would be useful for the range it, it heavily drops drops when driving uh, quietly and not not do 
doing anything anything acceleration or something like that just driving normally mm. yeah of course when the battery packs get gets uh, warm there's such a big mass in there it doesn't cool down very quickly so I don't think if the inlet temperature dropping that significantly has anything uh, has any has any meaning but when looking at the temperature readings it's clear that the inlet temperature is quite variating quite much uh, now uh, we left the charger straight to the highway and the consumption is 26 uh, watt hour watt hours per 100 kilometers so it's pretty consistent con ha has been pretty consistent all the way when driving in these conditions at uh, 110 kilometers per hour looking in the dashboard okay so we are almost back home uh, uh, this video I I think it will end to become quite a long one and to be honest quite boring but I think uh, there might be useful information for for you for example thinking of buying this you know, standard range uh, real wheel drive car and thinking about how it performs in a bit, bit, bit colder weather and in different kinds of driving speeds mm. and then you there was a bit of charging as well involved so uh, I hope this was informative this is pretty much at this point my main goal is to be informative uh, I could go around and make all these videos much much nicer but at the moment I don't have the time to make make things look nice so this is just just pure info for you guys and uh, mainly for you about about uh, bringing you more info for example uh, when making a purchase decisions between between cars if you find this kind of content useful and, and please let me know and uh, if I got something wrong uh, I hopefully you you have something uh, better info about these matters I have discussed please let me know of course and uh, yeah I think we uh, we see it next time yeah bye